Okay. This meeting is being recorded. Yay. There we are. Welcome, everybody. You want to take it away, Sharon? Oh, well. <clears throat> Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what um, yeah. more to say than... Well, it's our made, healthy habits. We uh, made it. Our group that meets every Wednesday at noon. And this oh, is yeah. April 24th. Um, this is the healthy habits. Our, our um, oops. That might be Kathy. Let's see. Um, well, Wellness Wednesday. It meets every yeah. noon. 24. Yeah, already. So it's 4, 24, 24. Yes. Wow. I I that too. April 24, yeah. 24. Yep. A special funny. need children love numbers that have the meanings like 4, 24, 24. Yes. Oh, good. And it's easier yeah. to remember, right? That's why I like it. <laughs> yeah. Did you work so, with special needs children? He enjoyed that. Study? Today's date. Did you work with yeah. special needs mostly? On, on, on Wednesday. Oh, he's so almost nice. ending because this year he'll go to to public school. He's fourteen, and he, so when you're when, when, they, when, when they get smarter than the teacher, then they remove the teacher and put him in. You know. <laughs> so he's going. He'll go, to, he'll go to public school with you know, with people who know geometry and yuck like that. Yeah. You know. So you've trained up the boy well. I I hope so. Or he's trained me. Yeah, he's he's taught well, me. You know. Yeah. Yes. That's like the healthy habits. It goes both ways. It gets iron sharp and iron. Iron. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Kathy. I made it. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. We can't see you though. All right, just a sec. Let me but work on We thought that was you on the other iPhone. So welcome other iPhone. No, no, I don't forward. know. I I was trying two different devices. Uh-oh. Maybe you are on both. Maybe that's why there was an echo. So oh, isn't the iPhone your friend, Sharon? Yes. Yep. What's okay. your name? Welcome. Well, I'm assuming it's Elaine. Welcome, Elaine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd put the name if I were sure. But <laughs> What does low network bandwidth mean? The internet, internet, the internet is unstable, but hopefully you'll be able to stay in. Okay. It, that comes up on mine, too. Eh. Okay. Yeah. I, I just, I didn't, I just wanted to make sure it wasn't me. Oh, it's not you. Yeah, okay. your computer's just tired. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, Aren't nap time for the computer. Yeah, whatever. All right. Well, let's just take a minute just to be glad we're here in the right place. Everybody take yes. a nice breath. Get yes. a stretch. If you want to send a text, give a holler to a last minute buddy. Hey, I thought you were coming. Because they can come too. And just take a couple deep breaths. Okay. Get your mind and body ready to receive some good information. Because if we're run, 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 then it all bounced out, right? Yes. <laughs> Another deep breath. A couple stretches. And we're going to see what we have for healthy habit reminders today, um, this week. And looking back at even what was the topic for Monday. So did you see any, what, what do we got going on for the challenges right now, Sharon? There's a couple the going on. Spring walking scavenger hunt challenge, um, I guess is the only one I know. But then there's the David's 90 day extraordinary results challenge. And I think Amy sent us some information on that, that she's been part of that. And we'll be encouraging, uh, you know, be, be encouraging sharing some stuff from that, I think. I think that's what. what? Um, yeah, and that'll be nice to hear more from her when she's back since she's doing that one. Yeah, it sounds like she's going to. It says ponder on these critical questions from my extraordinary life 90 day challenge to make sure you don't have any regrets in life. So I'm assuming she, I haven't seen those yet. So I'm assuming she's going to be sending those out <clears throat> on the healthy habits group. Okay. What would you expect? I think. Yeah. Yeah. Cause it's only the first couple of weeks into the challenge. What was it? Started beginning of April. Yeah. We're in the, this was the third week. 
third, yeah. This so was the third was week, yeah, I didn't yeah. remember it was right at the beginning. So it goes so, for three months. So there's plenty yeah. to go on that. Oh, yeah. And the great thing is, is they've got, like everything, they've got recordings. So if you miss some of it or part of it, you can go back and pick up the recordings. Um, Good. But so far, it has been wonderful. And what I'm enjoying about it is it really is about you. It. I, I was concerned that it was going to be 90 days of sell, 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 and up to be and make more money and get more coaches and that kind of rah, rah, rah. And so far, it hasn't been any of that. It's been all about you and creating your extraordinary life. Yeah, it's not even up to be a specific. I don't think you don't have no, to be up to be. No, it's not. Yeah. Oh, no, not at all. You could, you know. Yeah, I it's more about it. David's book. And you don't even have to get the book, but you can get the printout online for free. Yeah, so, other than the fact that to print it out, it's like 150 pages, but. <laughs> you know, but you can get that. Or you could just but, look at it on the computer. Yeah, screen. but, <laughs> you know, even the, even the uh, paperback, you know, it's like 25 bucks, something like that. And it's well worth it. It's an easy read. And it really is more personal than yeah. anything else. And I, after I went through the first one, I went, oh, yeah, I know a couple of people that need to hear this. Okay. And I was concerned and didn't bring them on because, again, I thought it was going to be all Optavia based. Right. Yeah, but, but now, you know, Oh, yeah. my question, too, do you know, Margo, anyone can join at any point in the 90 days or is it do you know registration? Yeah, open? No, okay. you can come because you can pick up the recordings. OK, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah. So that it's not like, yeah, if you want, you know, want to take a Saturday afternoon and listen to the first three or four recordings, you can jump in and then just go right on with it, which is great because. To ask people to take 90 days and be dedicated, not just Tuesdays, but every once in a while, there's something else that comes up. It's That's a, a tough hit to your schedule. But to yeah. know that you can, I had to miss one. And I just, that night, I did it on the recording and it was great. So I've been able to that's keep later. up. Yeah, well, I remember what email did that come case. from so I can go look for it? I mean, who sent the email so I can go look for it? Do you know? It's from oh. David Bush. Yeah, so I, should, I should do a search on David Bush. Okay, an extraordinary yeah. life. Yeah, in fact, in the agenda that I sent you for today, the link is in it. Oh, well, that'd be even easier. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wow. Can, I can put the link here too. So yeah. that's going on. Awesome, and I'm so glad you're in on that, Margo, to share some tidbits along the way. Yeah, it's, and so it's really it's, it's really a self development. <laughs> personal improvement yes. program yeah it is that's what it is and and so far what they have shared has been very practical um i don't feel any part of it is unreachable you know right. some of them that you go to seem to make the end goal so big that you think i'm never going to get there and right. this is very personal to who you are, what you want. And I mean, in the most recent ones, we've been discussing, everybody's been discussing their dreams and what their dreams are and how they intend to fulfill those dreams. And kind of the idea behind that is you share that with other people and you have other people that say, hey, I can help you with this or I can help you with that. Nice. Or you can say, I need help with this, that, or the other. So it it brings in the community, which we know all is really important. Yeah. And some of the dreams are, like dreams are, they're huge. But as they talk about them, and as David helps break them down, all of a sudden, what appears to be a dream has more chance at reality. Oh. and that's really cool to see that's the whole really process cool. yeah 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 so it's really getting to your why and doing like we did the vision boards and yeah yeah and your goal yeah. A, a lot like that a lot but like yeah that. from a coming from a different angle so that's yeah. super beneficial because all healthy habits the healthy habits all start with the, the good mindset yeah so i can see yeah. How that and works. again relating that the healthy habits are personal 
to each one of us. It's not something that's just global across the board. And and David is very good at opening that possibility up and presenting it as this is your plan to become exceptional and awesome. steps that you can take to get there. So it is, I so far, four weeks in, I'd say it's worth it. Great. Yeah, about to start the fourth week. Yeah, yeah. so that's going to be awesome to keep hearing more tidbits about that. So, and he's been a coach for a lot of years. So, a lot oh, of yeah. And and I'm sure that that Amy will have a lot more coming off the cruise because I'm, you know, the little tidbits I've gotten from her, I, I know her so well, and I can tell she's already sailing up in the stratosphere. <laughs> she's yeah. got the, the pie in the sky dreams. Oh, oh boy, yeah. So um, when she's back next week, we're going to have to listen real close because I envision her going and yeah, a million miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's great. Thank you so much. But that's what we need. We always yep. need the positive encouragement. Yep. Yep. Awesome. Thank you for sharing that. And yep. and then getting over to the the Monday night, the community time cliff notes section. So it was the topic getting the best results. So I'm gonna let you start that off, Sharon. And or or Betty, did you get a chance to see Monday I, night? Not yet. I, I, too frustrating. Too fr yeah, I, okay, I have hang anxiety and I'm really fighting it. I'm working on 23. I am working on 23 and four. I think the two go together. Oh, nice. Okay. And with and Dr. Michelle too. Good. good in fact, good, I walked good. in Monday and I said, I said, I don't care how you adjust my body, but I need an attitude adjustment. So <laughs> be sure that's on the top of the list. <laughs> yeah. First and last. <laughs> Could you include that, and right? <laughs> and everything in between. Yeah, and I she did. But she she did. Monday night got, got me Tuesday through afternoon. Tuesday, and now then here's Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I usually watch the Monday night Tuesday afternoon, but because I was on the road trip, nothing else happened. So, so, so we'll let you take it away, Monday? Sharon. Did anybody else see Monday night? Or have I listened? caught I caught Monday night. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> Somehow it 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 didn't float my boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes it, it's it was, the presenters, or sometimes it's the topic. <laughs> yeah, it was it was good. Uh, a lot of repetition, and and probably the biggest thing that I felt they were talking about was avoiding temptation. When you get weak in the process, how to stay strong. Okay. And I mean, that is important. Don't get me wrong. It It is important. But I just I felt more repetition than education out of it. OK. And possibly, well, yeah. And possibly part of it is because I am doing this extraordinary life program that just is resonating so strongly that I'm looking for more from the Monday night. Yeah. And I just, you know, like I say, it's always good information. Mm -hmm. And it always, I mean, there were some points in it that woke me up going, yeah, I do that. You know, I, I hit a point of temptation and I work harder at making the excuse why I can be tempted and accept it as opposed to how I can get past it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And you're, you're more in the optimizing your lifestyle yeah. segments because you've been doing all for, of so, this for so many years. So that's good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And a lot of us still need repetition for retention. And Kathy, yeah. I see, I thought I saw you had your mic open. Did you have some pointers you wanted to share? Yes. I, and to me, I, well, I just got back from going to Branson. So I was on vacation with two other couples and I wish I'd have heard this before I went because I was <laughs> tempted. Um, we all, we stayed in this condo. We were all together in the same, or like our um, family room. And, you know, we all shared that. We each had our mm -hmm. own room and, and bedroom, or I mean bathrooms. But so we got there last, my husband and I got there last and they had already put out all of their snacks, like M&M's, oh. um, uh -huh. uh -huh. potato chips. 
Tootsie Roll. I mean, there was just so much chocolate and that's, you know, kind of one of my downfalls. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm walking into this and I have got to be strong. And um, so it was really hard. So kind of, you know, it resonated what they were talking about. And mm. uh, I mean, I did, I felt like I did pretty good, but there were times like, okay, I grabbed a couple pieces of chocolate and I stayed away from the dip and the potato chips. Cause I knew once I started that, but it was hard. It was yeah. very hard to be in that environment for five days and oh yeah. wow, and try to stay on track. Mm-hmm. Now we exercised a lot, so that was helpful. But I don't know. It like she said, don't need to feed our emotions. You know, going for the chocolate, and that's kind of what yeah. I felt. Okay, well, everybody else is eating it. You know, can I eat it? Yeah. No. <laughs> so. What She's, watching it hindsight, basically, what are some of the tips that you wish you would have had before you went? Yeah, well, she had talked about, and I thought this was so key. You know, she goes, You feel like you're missing out, like if everybody else is eating or drinking. But she said the, the most important part is being with your friends, it's not what you're consuming. Yeah. And I needed to, yes. I really needed to stop and think about that. And then she said, don't give up what you want most for what you want in the moment. And so I, I needed to look at the big picture. Wow. And that, so say that, say that one again, what you want. The yes. most. Don't, don't yeah. give up what you want most for what you want in the moment. Love that. Like if I would have looked at like, you know, just keep thinking of my long-term goal instead of, you know, the moment of just eating a dip and chip, you know, that would have kept me more on track. Yeah. Well, Kathy, I would have to think it was hard too, because you were also going out to eat, right? Yes. We didn't eat every meal out, but we did eat out, you know, and actually that was easier because I could choose what I wanted, you know, I could, I could make healthy choices. Yeah. Um, so that was easier, but yeah, yeah. All, the, all the snacky stuff and it, it was just not good. Yeah. Being confined with it in the house and it was their choices were already set out. Right. And I did bring my feelings and I, you know, I tried to, I ate my feelings and I brought what I felt, you know, were healthier snacks, you know, that and to share with the group. <laughs> my <laughs> snacks were still left. Their snacks were all <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel your pain when that happens. <laughs> you try you try to bring the healthy ones and yeah, you have a lot left when yeah. after the end of the weekend is over. Yeah, well that, that sounds like me yesterday on the road trip. The first thing I set out were my Optavia bars and then and some water. And then I thought, oh, I don't know if I'll have to spend the night. Better bring something for overnight just in case. Da 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 da. And then I had my uh, another snack bag with a few things, you know, beef jerky is always good for the road and and uh, some pistachios, a crunch, keep you awake on the round trip back at night. And I'm digging through my snack bag, you know, halfway down to Oklahoma. <laughs> I can't find my bars. So I'm, I start eating the, the junk snacks. I get home and there's the bars. Oh, so right work. I don't know. They got moved under something and not put in the bag. Yeah. (laughs) So I tried, but yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, it's crazy. I welcome Mary. Is it Schoberg? Welcome, welcome. If you're in on lunch break, thanks for listening in. We're just kind of going over some highlights of Monday night. The if you got a chance to see it, and the topic was getting the best results. If you'd like to share, just pop in, open your mic. We love to have that. So back to you, Sharon, what were some of your pointers to notes that you got from Monday? Well, so um, they did, I guess I should have shared that screen that they had the stop, challenge, choose, and then the questions that 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 you look at. I mean, that you can ask yourself, I guess I want to say. And... um, it just says pause and take a breath, ask questions and be honest with be honest with ourselves. Am I hungry? Mm. You know, if yes, find something, you know, if I said find cuc- you know, something besides find a healthy snack. Am I thirsty? 
you know, find the water. Do I need water? <clears throat> and am I emotional? And most of the time that's what's, you know, <laughs> causing spurs um, the hunger. Spurs the hunger, yeah, the emotional yeah. eating. And um, they talked about the different emotions, bored, lonely, angry, stressed, tired, excited, depressed. We've all felt some or all of those at one time or the other or another. Mm -hmm. And um, I just pointed out that you're not hungry, you're tired, you know, mm -hmm. tired is a, you know, is um, a big one that kind of gets us. Um, or thirsty. Yeah. Well, I this, thought that was interesting, Betty. I've heard that oftentimes when we feel hunger, it's actually thirst. Yes. Yeah. Always take a glass of water first. Drink a little yeah. bit of water. and. Yep. Yeah, first the thirst. Well, will that's this, cute. First the thirst. First. And another question is, will will this fix my problem? Hmm. What what can I do instead of eat? Somebody just said, Those are good. Well, maybe yeah. go outside, you know, find some other activity. Um and here is am I calling for a food fallacy? I thought this was kind of interesting. I don't think I got all of the scenarios, but one of them said was, well, um, so you're a ga at a gathering and well, grandma only makes this once a year. You know? Oh yeah, yeah, that was a good one. So, <laughs> you know. So I have to. All in, we've all fallen yeah. into that come holidays, you have those special things that you only have at a holiday or, you know, some kind of event. And, um, oh, I don't want to waste food. Yeah, that's yeah. a big one for me too. I know that's a big one for you too, Sandy. You don't want to waste food, but if you eat it, it goes to waste. Your <laughs> yeah, waste. Yay, yeah, Betty. <laughs> <That was, laughs> oh, forget that. Yeah, that, that was, was the second part of that. <laughs> so I, I, I feel you, Betty. <laughs> Would you rather have it on your waist? <laughs> I. What uh, is it? A moment on the lips? A lifetime on the hips? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Or loose oh. lips sink ships. All oh, that one will still work too, even though it was for the war. <laughs> um, I might as well eat this. I paid for it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think I've said that a few times. You know. Although yeah. you're going to pay more if you eat it. Right. Yeah. In a totally different way. Definitely in those um, situations where they bring out stuff ahead of, you know, they bring out like bread or chips or whatever before your meal, you know, those, mm -hmm. are, um, I think maybe they just talked about, just don't have them bring it, you know, say, um, you know, we'll pass on the bread or the chips. Yeah. Um, I'm going to wait for the good stuff. Sometimes I say, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The real food. Oh yeah. And that was, this is what Ka Kathy kind of said. They, they are having all of the fun. Um, I just love food too much, but we got to think about, we I've said that a lot of times, <laughs> my husband and I, we call it fun food. Yeah. Food, food is fun for us. You know, if it's our snacky things or our favorite meals, Ooh, it's fun food night. Yeah. But yeah. like I said, you know, focus on, we want to, we want to fuel our body. We want to have the food that's going to fuel our body. So um, how will I feel after I eat this? Yes. If I eat the pizza, how will I feel? No, probably bad in a couple ways. <laughs> yeah. Guilty, yeah. You know, guilty and. Um, right. The emotional and physical bad in a couple ways. <laughs> yeah. And um, what do I want to have happen? What are my goals? So going back to that, what do I. Yeah. What am I feeling or what's happening here? Or so those were just yeah. some of go, nice. go ahead, somebody. I think it was Betty. I think it might have just been an echo. Okay. Those are a lot of good points, a lot of good notes. Thank you so much, Sharon. But I didn't get them all because <laughs> so yeah, I, I you can write that fast, right? <laughs> I didn't get a chance. But also um with that stop challenge, choose, yeah, the when I said, am I emotional? You know, they have that acronym blasted and that stands for the bored, the lonely, the angry, the stressed, the tired, the excited, the depressed. So 
Um, but those are, that's just a good reminder, I guess, that probably I need to share with some people. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And do you like to do sticky notes on, you know, somewhere where you can see them, like those lists of questions or? That would be, a good, yep, a good reminder. Yeah, and that might even be a good one to just type up and share in the Happy Health Habits group. Mm -hmm. so I think good I, for everyone to hear. I think I, I think I sent that. Oh, I see, no, I haven't, I haven't even looked. So if it's there, yay. I yeah. Think maybe I didn't. I don't know. Yeah, you did send it because I somebody okay. sent it because I printed it off. So I somebody okay. sent it. Yeah, that was me. I thought yay. that was yeah from that was a good. We'll just have to look back. Yeah. yeah. See, someone's reading your stuff, Sharon. We love your okay. reminders. And I'm Kathy's actually, even printing them out. That's great. Yeah, I just, okay. Yeah, good. That is great. Um, I printed right. Margo's. I printed Margo's from the other day. Oh, yeah, that the, was a beauty. The yeah. Gandhi, yeah. Sharing that. Mm -hmm. The Dalai Lama one. Everybody yeah. got it, right? Yeah. yeah. Thank okay. you. I got it, yes. Everybody that was there. Yeah. And Sandy's given us our little stretch reminder. Oh, yeah. good one. Um, at the end, they did talk about two jars. I didn't quite get that. Um, oh. One of positive things I did. Yeah. And oh, I have, the, have your goal in one. Have your goal in one jar. And then the other jar um, to put right the positive things you did towards getting to, for closer to mm. that goal. Is I'd like to just help you remind, help remind you of what you actually have accomplished. In yeah. essence, what, yeah, in essence, what it was saying was when you are tempted and you overcome that temptation, put a, put a marble in the jar. Yeah. Remember and that then, time I did good. <laughs> yeah. And, and then as you're watching the jar fill up, you know, you've got your, you've got your goals already set, but you're helping to make your goals by not giving in to the temptation. That's good. That's good. Nice. It could be just a, um, even if you had a good thought, <laughs> not yeah. a good yeah. action, but you changed your thought from, you know, you, you shifted your thought to something yeah. positive. So anything that would be positive that could go in the jar. It takes you away from something negative, like eating the chocolate. Yeah, and, and, I, and, I and think, if you get if you get an a full attitude adjustment, I think that's a big bonus, <laughs> right, baby? True. That that gets a giant agate, not just a little yeah. mark. All, all yeah. capital letters. <laughs> Good, thank but you. But I Excellent. think listening to to Sharon, I'm you know I'm realizing that for me, listening Monday night was so much repetition of what I've listened to for ten years. Oh, yeah, I think and so. And it was so much of the basics of what I have done for 10 years that it, I, I kept looking for a new nugget. And I, I think that is what left me feeling less than overwhelmed. Yeah, by, expecting by more when event. you've already got gold, yeah. Margo. You've already got gold. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's it. I'm always looking for something more, something better because... I still have my days of weakness and and still have thoughts of wanting something that I shouldn't have. And the perfect one is, you know, I can't go at Christmas without Lefsa. It just, I, I can't do it. So if I know I'm going to do it, I need, I want to yeah. know what I do beforehand and what I do afterwards to make up for what I'm doing then. Yeah, because you've really already made the choice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. It, rather than fighting myself, it's like, okay, this is too much of a family tradition. I'm, I wasn't and haven't been willing to give that up, but definitely willing to work afterwards and to work beforehand on making sure that I'm staying straight and steady so yeah. that I can have that day of left of binging. <laughs> <laughs> You're, pre you're preparing yourself with, for you know what's coming. <laughs> yeah, yes. it's kind of yeah. like that. But again, I think for Monday, I'm always looking for new pearls because what's amazing and what I love about this program is Dr. Anderson 
together with Optavia, are always working to find something better for us. Yeah. Yeah. And to make it easier and to make it healthier. And yeah. that's one of the wonderful parts. It's not, it's not just one story. It's yeah. constantly, it's like, it's like new chapters all the time. And that's exciting. Yeah, and that's life. Life should be yeah. progressive. Yeah. And if you don't yeah. learn something, have you actually lived? You know, we should be learning something new every day. And yeah, but sometimes it's back to the basics. That's foundational stuff. That's what works, mm -hmm. tried and true. So it's keep true. Our, keep our gold nuggets in front of us too. So, did anyone else have any pointers from Monday, or you had a couple more, Sharon, or that was pretty much it for Monday? No, that's the. I mean, they just had a lot of little things at the beginning, you know, that, um, to th oh, I guess I could just say, you know, oh, the comment was hacking. You could be getting yourself, by doing hacking, you could be getting yourself right out of fat burn. Mm. So, um, I mean, I know there's a lot of hacking going on. Yeah, hacking so just to on. make sure it's compliant, basically. Yeah, that mm -hmm. you're... Um, not hacking with maybe too many condiments, you know, or you're just adding extra, you know, extra to your hack, I guess I want to say. Yeah, good, good reminders to. Yeah, sneak, yeah. it said something about sneaky carbs, you know, yeah. extra carbs sneaking in there and, and, um, um, I, and I, you know, they said something about gummy supplements, you know, there's, Carbs, sugars, and something like that. I, you know, it's yeah. everywhere. You you try to pick up stuff, and you have to be very very careful yeah. because you come home, you think you're picking up your K or your cranberry, and and you here it is this crappy gummy stuff, and yeah. I don't like that because you know right away that's a trigger food. Unlike yeah. the left stuff, it's not a trigger food because you know you're not you're going to you may want it, but you're not going to get it for another twelve months, you know. But the gummy, it's everywhere. It, it is. Terrible. Yeah, it's when terrible. I was gluten free, I was like, man, if someone was actually celiac, this stuff is dangerous because yes. it's hidden yeah. in everything, supplements and whatever. Yeah. And yeah. you yes. got to be super duper careful. But yeah, that's a good point. The sneaky is everybody car. here familiar with a product called Juice Plus? Juice Plus, no. no. Okay. Juice Plus is a plant-based nutritional system. And one of the things that they have that I love is their omegas, because their omegas are plant-based. They are not fish-based. And yeah. I said, how can you do that? And they said, well, what do the fish eat? They eat the algae. Yeah. Yeah. So I've got a plant-based omega also. Yeah. So they're getting it directly from the source, but they have a gummy for um, fruits and vegetables that is like one gram of sugar and one gram of carbs. It's the lowest of any I've seen anywhere. Mm, so good. it's, it's you, you know, are looking for that fruit and vegetable support Mm -hmm. Um, and, and you like the gummies, you just don't like what a lot of them can do to you. Uh, right. Check out juice plus and take a look at it because mm -hmm. they've got some pretty, what I feel are probably the healthiest of any right. of them that I've seen. I'm not a good food. vitamin taker and mm -hmm. the gummies work for me. I take two a yeah. day and I'm good to go, but it took a long time to find them. Because you're right, everything that you look at is like pure carb, pure sugar. Yeah. Yeah, they did mention about that, um, about counting carbs, one gram of carbs. I mean, a condiment should not have more than one gram of carbs, if that sounds. Well, yeah, that, that's what I wrote down. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, this, um, it's in the book there. It's in that little teeny book to, it tells you. I you look know, it up. to be a guy, Jeff. Yeah, but that's a good reminder. You know, it's basically the tablespoon or whatever. It's not yeah. glug, glug, glug. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and we tend to get lazy about measuring out. You know, we kind of forget to yeah. measure out. 
I'm guilty of that too. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm pretty good about measuring. I'm pro. Um, I'm just that I much. Probably, I mean, I think I was really good when I was, you know, on the plan. Mm -hmm. But now that mm -hmm. I've transitioned, you know, you potentially tend to know know what just <laughs> Yeah. Well, and if it's something you're doing every day, you can yeah. kind of eyes by it and you pretty yeah. much know, but yes, we tend to let that go with other things. And if you, if you want to get into fat burn, it is a scientific thing. I mean, it is measured and proportioned and specific. Yeah. yeah. So if that is your goal and what stage you're at, it is important. Very important. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's what yeah. they And beware of the nut, nuts and cheese sticks can, you know, as a, the okay. nuts are doing me I in. Have to go overboard yeah. on them. That's the nuts are doing me in. I'm, but you know what? It's my only safe thing when I feel like a binge coming on right now. Just in the last few weeks with Jane being sick, it's like, and I measure it out, and then I go. So I only do like one serving. Okay, now I have two. At two servings, I really stop. I used to do five almonds, but now. Right, it's just his blood sugar is driving me crazy and I'm going crazy. And, um, but that's me. That's just yeah. me. And it's, it's not, it's not anyone's fault. One thing I started doing on um, Sunday was I set a timer for me and I set it for, I set it for every three hours, but I found my meals go best if I go and every two and a half hours that way, then I don't think otherwise I'm like, is it time to eat? Is it time to eat? Is it time? I've got the timer on. The timer will tell me. And that has helped me this Ooh. week. Eddie, I've done that for nine years. Oh, have you? I, I never <laughs> And you didn't I tell me. And you didn't I, tell me. <laughs> when I stopped doing that, I went off track. I'd completely forget a meal. And all of a sudden, I go, oh, my gosh, I forgot. And it's now six hours. And yeah. I just found... I, I don't have that kind of memory management. So I just set my alarm every three hours. There and you go. It goes yeah. off and I go, whoop. And whatever is like, whatever I'm doing, uh, excuse me, I need a minute. <laughs> yeah. 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 And and, and I I'm trying this. I just started this. I set this up yesterday to do set hours. I don't have, oh, if I get up at four, then I eat within the hour. If you get up at six, you eat within the hour. I said, no, you are going to have to have set, set hours. You eat supper at this time. And, and so I'm trying that today. I'm trying that today. And so far I've been on it. I've even, I've set it up. So it's 1130. And so I had something before I came on. Okay. Another thing. The one thing I do too is I cut my bars because I love the bars yes. and it's a quick and you take it with you. So if I'm home, I cut the bar, I cut it into 16 pieces and then I eat one itty bitty piece at a time. Otherwise it's um, um, <laughs> um. Right. and oh it's my gosh. Um, 16 it's, pieces. How could you get 16 pieces? Out? I know. I was <laughs> like, I was thinking I you go, so little. Half, you go half, you go quarter you go eight and then you go 16 oh my and god they're cute. they're cute i'm gonna try that <laughs> you, you could have a little toothpick or nerve platter you know there you go Fancy. there you go assorted bar assorted yeah. bar platter oh you down but there you know go. those are just a couple of things that i've done this week that have helped and I've started, I started an exercise just for balance because I'm so off balance. I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to fall over. So yeah. I've been working on a little balance. So I'm working on going to bed. I'm working on the food. I'm working on three or four different things. Yeah. So, and that's a lot of things, but I like what you said. I'm going to do this today, this structure, yeah. or I've been doing it this week. And you'll you learn what your body says. Yeah. Listen to your body. And yes, you're finding what works for you. So that's beautiful. Yeah, because otherwise I just, it's like, is it time to eat? You've ate yeah. five minutes. You're still chewing, lady. You know? <laughs> <laughs> the meat was yet between your teeth. <laughs> exactly. You haven't. Uh, and so I just yeah, so it's the clock it's will help terrible. you. Yeah, clock I, is your friend right now. That's good. 
<laughs> well, yes. that's okay. You guys have, and yes. I wanted to have Sandy yeah. bring out some points. I don't know if you were in the energy bus lately, but you had a, a thought earlier before we started recording. Oh, and yeah. and with so, that, if you want to bring in, you know, wins yes. and challenges of the week. So we've celebrate. been looking at the energy bus and uh, I, I was sharing, well, last week I was sharing that, you know, there's a Amy out on the boat and we are all on the bus together here. Well, lately I got off at the wrong stop and I'm lost. Ah. I need to get myself back on the bus. <laughs> okay. But one good thing I did uh, just this morning, I, I was laying in bed, mo you know, like everything was hurting. I was exhausted. It's I've been, nice. I had slept for seven hours. It's time to get out of bed. So I got up. And I went out and I told my husband, after Bible study, I want you to flash a YouTube 28-day yoga video on the TV for me. He goes, what? Yeah, I need to do this. So I got my chair and I got I got all hooked up and I got day zero intro and day one 28-day yoga, chair yoga, and I did it. And it was hurting so bad. But when I got up to walk out to the kitchen to get a glass of water, it felt better. So I'm looking, I kind of looking forward to tomorrow. I mean, now I, I was sharing that I, I just like, I got off on the wrong stop. So I am starting something new. I'm going to try this 28 day yoga because now it's kayak season. It's almost ready. The weather is almost ready. And I need to be able to get in and out of that kayak. Yes, you do. Around yes. the lake. And yes, so I am committed to doing, well, next Wednesday, we'll check in and I'll tell you how many days yeah. I do the 28 day <laughs> yoga. But today I am determined to do 28 day yoga. And he's just kind of looking at me and telling me, well, you didn't do that quite right. He's giving me extra instruction, you know, hold your body. He's just watching. <laughs> you know what? Whatever. If you want to be involved, I tell me what to do. That's just fine. As long as I get to do it every day. So that what is, time is that. But what? did you hear what? that video? It's chair yoga. In, you can do it from your in sitting. Yeah, in that's your what I was saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and it's free. What? It's a free one um, because they all they all cost a bunch of money. They bring you through all these yeah. questions. What do you want to accomplish? Yeah, and then there's like, do you pay this? I, no, I don't want to pay. I wrote in the Google free chair yoga for seniors, and there's one I forgot the name of it already, but it's um, it's an older more mature woman and she's very very calm and very uh supportive mm -hmm. and i just like i can do this and i'm gonna yeah. yes have set up so every yes. morning after bible study i'm gonna do that maybe he'll do it with me i don't know but maybe I'm, right yeah, I am, i'm committed to do it and i'm you know i'm trying 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 to get the hydration and i i've I haven't walked. I haven't. This is why I'm so tired. This is why I'm feeling lethargic. I haven't done the walking. I haven't been drinking pro proper hydration. I've been eating a bunch of wrong food. And and I, I've even thought about it before I do it. You know, it's like we, we, uh, we go to visit mom at the nursing home and on the way home, Arby's has happy hour. So we got into a new habit of stopping at Arby's every day for our <laughs> 50 cent beverage. Well, um, diet soda is better than regular. It's not wonderful. No, it's no. no, it's, it's terrible not. actually. But unsweetened tea was a choice, so I I got unsweetened tea. Okay. But but then there's also you know the crinkle fries and the cookie that's half price. You know, it's just I I, I said to my husband, this is a bad habit we got into. He said, go to yeah. visit your mom. I said, no, I'm not going to visit my mom. Stop <laughs> no. at Arby's afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it it's the the muscle memory the it's the, it's actually habit stacking the one thing yeah. and then we do this when we when we do this then we do that and yep. that has become the habit but yeah. sandy oh. you have to forgive yourself you have gone through so yeah. Yeah. much in the last months that you need to forgive yourself a little bit you don't want to slide too far backwards but you're your brain is in the right place. It wants to do the right things. Yeah. And you follow as you can, but don't be too hard on yourself because my gosh, woman, most women in your position would not even be able to think straight, let alone move, yeah. want to do better and whatever. And you and I will have a personal conversation about yeah. diet soda. 
I, I already know the chemicals are worse than full than full sugar pop. I would be better off drinking the full sugar pop. So that's gonna stop. Uh the Yay. unsweetened tea, you know. Yeah, that was a yes, and then that was a good choice, choice of, but of I, the I, options uh, that were there. Yeah. And 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 even since Steve had his kidney stone surgery um last week, um, we've walked a couple times. He's come with me. He hasn't completed the walk, but he comes. So he's you know, he's still supportive of that. He's actually kind of um eating and drinking a little, a little better. So I, I think, I think that scared him. That scared his, his, you know, oh. having that kidney stoning and being so much pain. And yeah. And so, so use that, everything. you know, let, let's be a little bit healthier for that. And then just keep reminding him, I, I want to get out in the kayak. I'm doing this for me. You know, this is important. Yeah. Cause I know I can get in it. I am just not so sure I'm going to be able to get out of it. I, I, it. I, I've, I've already uh, figured out that I will get out of it. I will get around the lake because I will make myself, I will get out of it because in the past, before I learned how to stand up and get up, I would just dip it sideways into the water and get soaking wet and drag it off to the shore. I don't care. <laughs> it if works. I, do that, I will do that until I get strong enough again. Because I'm Yeah, not gonna, and you don't want to hurt yourself in the process. We don't yeah. want you to get hurt doing it. No, yeah. I am not going to not kayak because that has been my, uh, my I dream. Know. I so admire you for doing that. I so admire you for doing that. I see how she keeps it up the way she does. You're yeah. amazing. Well, because we do know. Because she's it's so it. beautiful. Yeah. It is like peace and Once, quiet. And sometimes and you just bite something and hold on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, Sharon climbs walls. Sandy yeah. goes kayaking. Everybody <laughs> has their thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so did anybody Great. else have a um, uh, uh Tripping stones to get off at the wrong stop like I did, or something to share that went well for you, even better. But don't be afraid to share like I did because it's real. And yeah. I was thinking, I was even thinking about when you're talking about at Christmas, grandma's favorite dish. You know what? I go into those always like like Margo with her left side. It is an opportunity to have the traditions and go into it and say, okay, it's just for this day. I can have a couple bites of something that I'm going to enjoy and it is just fine. I don't need to feel guilty about it. I will right. not feel guilty about it. Right. With a strategy going in. My issue has been I lost the strategy going in and on the other side, like, I want more of that more. For, for yeah long periods. And then and then my life just fell apart, you know, dealing with all the stress of oh, yeah. all the changes with mom. And, and honestly, the hardest stress for me is her great desire to be gone and she's still here and she's angry. And that is really hard for me to hear yeah. it all the time. Why am I still here? I don't want to be here. It's like, I am sorry, mom. I can do yeah. anything for you, but end your life. I cannot do that. No, you it, can't. It's not yeah. your time. I'm here to be with you when yeah. whatever, but I can't do that. So yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's it's hard. That is and that hard. Was, and that was my my road trip yesterday was to see my father in law and I went with my brother in law and met up with my sister in law down there and yeah he's at at the point of he won't go in a home he doesn't really want hospice but he is getting in health care and that that was a big part of why I went down and. Yeah, and, and just getting pulled. I, I live far away, so I'm not pulled into the daily drama, but I was really, I was scared they were going to guilt me, and That's they didn't. Amazing. No. Yeah, Every, but everybody was at a point where appreciative of each other's support. So it was, it turned out to be a very good day. And I was able to make the round trip and, and come good. straight back home. But yeah, those are things that, you know, it it's it's not you but it feels like a burden to carry but it's it's yeah. really not it's her choice but yes you want to be supportive well mm -hmm. it's such a tough situation because so you want your loved ones to be around forever but the one thing you don't want is them suffering yeah right. exactly. and they don't want it anymore no and and i think back i was blessed my mom bless her heart at 84 she got sick on a wednesday on Friday, she said goodbye to all. And we went, no, you're not ready. The doctor said you're going to be going home. Saturday morning, she was gone. Yeah. Uh, she and knew. never she in knew. any kind of real pain or discomfort. And I thank God for that every day. Mm -hmm. Because I see what you've gone through, Sandy. And I know 
what so many of my other friends have gone through. And it's, it's tough. And which goes back to us wanting to be our healthiest we possibly can for yes. as long as we can right. not to put our loved ones through that. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. the conversations recently have, have been directed toward, you know, <clears throat> trying to direct, direct away from being mad about being here, but about, um, you know, you're, you're on the path. You are on the path to be where you want to be. Yeah. Um, That's you're good. going toward the light. You're going toward the transition. And the, the songs we sing, I said, this song is for you. This is about transition yeah. into your next life. And it's yeah. going to be beautiful. And, and so, you know, I, I just try to stay positive with those conversations yeah. and, and move forward. With yeah. That. And you need it for her, but you need it for you too. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. For sure. Oh, that's all about me. Anybody else have anything? <laughs> Not that I've uh, taken over the whole conversation. Here. Like you said, so it's you real life. It really helps. Have, have you been jumping into the the energy bus, Betty? Have you been looking at your chapters at no, all? On that I one? have not done <laughs> any of the reading, any of the videos. That's why I make it a point to come here to get the cliff notes, to check in with you, to get the right. Experience. But I know Betty yeah. got the energy bus book. I got the energy bus and I got the quick book. That's that's I've read the energy bus and now I'm I'm just starting up the the quick the one with the brain the brain book. Oh yeah. I you do. Yes, I really like that. It's it's very good. In fact, I told Gene I've kind of slowed down on it because I told him he needs it. He doesn't. He's his long it's short term memory isn't here. Yeah. And I said, yeah. you, you, it's, it's going fast. And he's the one you wanted to go. If you had to go on Jeopardy, you want him, you go <laughs> first, you know, and, uh, and it, it's going fast. I said, there's a good tips in there. So I'm reading right. that and that is helping me. And, it, and do you read it out loud course, with Where him did or? I learn about him is from this program, but it's, it's like, oh, that's what he said. I I'm I'm going to start it. I have to read it to him because he's he's you know his eyesight is pretty much gone. Yeah, that's now. what I was going to say. But that's pretty neat. You can read it out loud together. Yeah, yeah. In fact, that's well, like where can he go in the house without you know I can follow <laughs> him everywhere. <laughs> Honey, this is good for you. <laughs> One way or another, yeah. But that's but a I'll, neat way to I'll share do. what both of you are going through. You yeah. Know, is, I, yeah. I think read, things like reading books together are awesome. Yeah. And I, I started up the, the, the devotions that I, you know, my little devotion book. Now at night before he goes to bed, I read one of them now. The one from last year, I just read over for him to hear. And it's really, it's really helping him. The little Bible verse and the, the blessing. And it's, you know, it, it's just good. It's good for both of us. It really is. It's good it's for good both, for of, both yes. of us. So. And that's a good habit. And yeah. I know, and I know Marco. My thing keeps has cutting out. Uh oh, is that your internet or mine this time? It's mine. My mine has been cutting out about every okay. third word. I don't hear. So. Oh. Well, I know Margo had some inspiration she wanted to share with us to thought for the week. Are you ready? We're ready. This is We're ready. This is, a, this is another fairly long one, but it's great. It's called commitment. Commitment is what transforms a promise into reality. It is the words that speak boldly of your intentions and the actions which speak louder than the words. It is making the time when there is none, coming through time after time after time, year after year after year. Commitment is the stuff character is made of. The power to change the face of things. It is the daily triumph of integrity over skepticism. Very good. Okay. And it's what we all live through every day. Is uh, our commitment to ourselves, our families, our life. And our relationships. That and like beautiful. you, Sandy, this Wednesday has become so important to me and I think to most of us for relationships that we've created with people 
for the most part that we've never met. Mm -hmm. And yeah. in some cases, they're stronger than some of those of people we have met. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. yeah. You know, <laughs> it just common goals, common ideas. Yeah, I mean, look at how much effort all of us made to be here today and, and every oh, Wednesday. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, sometimes we can't make it, but it, we miss it when we can't. Well, and so, the really good thing, too, is that it, about the common struggles, we're transparent yeah. with each other. We're not afraid to, you know, we don't hide what we would hide from other people. In this yeah, and we don't dwell on the negative, but we learn from it and we learn from each other. And yeah. I always, I always feel built up. This is such a great group. Yes, it is. Yes. Well, and, and it's, it's a, there's the understanding here. When we say one thing, it's not like, oh, for heaven's sake, like your left side. Oh, for heaven's sakes, you yeah. could have it for the six weeks, the, the, you know, from yeah. Thanksgiving to then. They don't understand. No, it's a special. Okay, it has to be looked at as a religious experience with my family. It has to be done that way one time. That one, one, one special day, whatever day I pick. And they yeah. don't understand that. They do yeah. not understand that. And so you just keep your mouth shut because you're going to have a big argument from them. <laughs> yeah. you know? Well, and I think and that here, takes away the joy. It doesn't matter what we say. Yeah. Nobody looks down on us. Mm -hmm. Nobody puts us at fault everybody's there to support us. So yeah, exactly. even even if we open up to things that we may not say to anybody else, I don't feel like anybody sits in judgment of me. Yeah. No. One's no. better no. than Everybody someone sits else. In support. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's it's like yesterday the day was terrible. It was a terrible day. And I just kept looking for the good. And during the day I said a bad word twice. Now I don't, I don't judge myself because if I say a bad word, it says, "You better wake up, wake up. What's going on?" And it's like, boy, you know for sure I'm there on Wednesday. <laughs> that, that, that computer better work for me. It'll work, or I'll strangle it. You know. <laughs> so you got your Monday attitude adjustment, and Wednesday yeah. will be. Yeah. Yes, because if it I gets don't us through the week, it, yeah. I don't say a bad word very often, but when I, if I say a bad word about something, it's like, whoa, something's out of whack here. And, That's right. And so yeah. you, you work on it and you do and it. And you've learned to look for that thing. What, yeah. What's really yeah. the underlying you say, thing. Oops, Lord, I'm sorry. You know? Yeah. So and Interestingly what, enough, the Lord understands. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, because it's not and it what it's not a thought of to say it, you know. It's no, just yeah. it, it no, pops. Not at all. Well, I loved your commitment poem or saying. If you want to yeah, share yeah. that with the group again, I know you've got yes. our email now. That would be, be beautiful, Marco. That'd yeah. be great. Yes. I would and love it. We will Thank see you. you all next Wednesday, if not sooner, and we'll be okay. back in Amy Michelle's room next week. Bye, all right. Amy. All right. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Bye. 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 Oops. Yeah, so you can stop and save the recording, or when you close it, it'll automatically save it. Stop recording. Did I do this wrong? No, you're no, good. Me. <laughs>